All right, welcome back to um, part four. Now, in this one, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of serializing information. It's one of the key concepts of uh, Photon and how the, the system works. Um, in other systems, you'll use sync vars, um, but in this, you uh, have a bit more control over how you serialize the data. Now, serializing, I'm just looking at the, the API stuff, and I do want to point out that the docs on Photon Engine are actually really good, and if you get stuck, you can find info out. But you know, my job's to try and translate it and make it simple for you. So, um, so um, basically, what I'm going to do is, uh, is is this part here, where we are able to take variables that we have and use them um, across the network, um, rather than just have change them locally and not have them change. We did that with the shooting with RPCs, but when it's something that's going to be that's going to need to change regularly, there needs to be a better way. So the way we're going to do this is, um, if you're going to go, we're going to make the pitch of the player go up and down, um, and that's obviously happening regularly every, with every input. So we want that to also be reflected across the network, and you, as you know right now, it isn't. So if you um, look at the player uh, prefab right now. Um, what we've got right now is we've got the um, the pistol is uh, in front of the player, but it's currently a child of the player, so it only rotates around. Um, it's the main camera that pitches up and down as we uh, change the pitch inside the player script. So what I'm going to get you to do is to drag this pistol onto the main camera, so that when the main camera pitches up and down, the the pistol will uh, pitch up and down too, and you'll see it you'll see it happen. Um, you could test this locally right now if you want to, um, but we uh, you'll not see it across the network. So I'm just going to get started on uh, showing you how to do that. So obviously we're going to go to the, the first person controller script. So um, if you go to that first person controller script and go right to the top of the code, you'll see um, this mono behavior pun callbacks. We're also going to do what it recommends inside the documentation is we're going to implement this ipun observable. Um, if you add this after the comma and mono behavior pun callbacks, you'll see it's saying that it, that you need to um, implement a particular function. Um, the little drop down here uh, just allows you to say implement interface. So uh, it, Visual Studio knows that it's an error. So if you click implement interface, this will go away. And what it's done is way down the bottom of my code, it always puts it at the end of your code, um, it's created this function for us called on photon serialize view. Um, it takes a stream and some info. We're just going to keep this as simple as possible as always. And I'm just going to implement this um, as it's recommended in the documentation. So what we want to we want, what we want to synchronize is this pitch variable up here. So uh, you'll see that the pitch variable uh, it actually gets changed only on the client because we when we're photon view is mine we do the look. And it's in the look that we change this pitch by based on the input. Um, so I'll show you quickly how to how to um, serialize that value across the network, and then we'll um, we'll bug fix and see how it works. So first up, uh, what you need to do is you need to check if you're reading or writing. Um, as you know, as you know from all of this, the scripts run on the the local uh, machine, but they also run on the uh, clones of anything that's running on any connected client so they'd be running also on the other machine so we need to um, if we're running on the local machine we need to write and if we're running on the client on the on sorry on a connected clone we need to read and put that that value back in so the way you do this is you just say if stream dot is reading or is writing I'm gonna choose is writing and do the writing first so if we're writing, we want to send that pitch uh, through the stream. So it's really easy. You just do stream dot, and then you do uh, where is it? Send next. There it is. So you click send next, and you send the value that you want to send. Now you look in the documentation, um, but pretty much most of the variables that you're going to create will be uh, serializable. You'll be able to send them um, across uh, the network, so you'll be able to get them at the other side. So this just sends this value straight across to uh, to the, all the clones of the objects that share this photon view across all the connected clients. So the else for this statement, well, the else is when you're actually reading it. And this is a wee bit harder, but it's not too difficult. We're just going to say pitch equals. 
um, and then you just read from the stream uh, you say stream dot um, is it receive next there it is receive next and it will receive the next available value and because you sent this once this this pitch as the first one it will receive whatever you send first at the other end now you'll see here it's got this issue with cannot c implicitly convert um, basically when you send it it's an object when you get it back it's still an object so we just need to tell it what it was when we sent it um, and it was a floating point value so you just put that in brackets um, brackets float before stream dot receive next and that'll stick it into pitch now um, I'm going to pause the I'm going to build this and I'm going to show you that it, it kind of works but um, we've got a bug and I want to uh, see if we can bug fix that so um, first up I'm going to build and then I'll be back in a second so I um, built it a couple of times uh, so you can see what's going on so you can see we have some success we can uh, we can shoot um, and we can shoot up and down as we move the mouse uh, the issue comes however as you can see here is um, I can shoot up and down but it's not synced across the network and um, the way it works is the RPC is just sending uh, that we need to shoot it's not sending uh, the direction that you're going to shoot in um, and that pitch value should be synchronized across the network but it isn't so have a quick think about how that might happen um, a couple of things that uh, is we're going to have to change in order for it to work um, and I'm just going to go through um, just one of them right now is uh, the um, the player um, if we look at the player here the player needs to observe this component so right now the only component because that's why we did the ipun observable is so that we can observe it if you remember way back we were observing the position and rotation of the player with this um, this observed component so obviously we need to observe the component in order for that to work and so we're going to have to hit plus here for another another slot and we're going to have to drag the first person controller the the script that we want to observe into that second slot so that's that's the first problem um, this first person controller now it will synchronize those pitch values across so um, if you were to build and run this you would see absolutely no difference even though we're now actually observing across the the network the issue we have though if we go back to the code if I just save this if I go back to the code when we um, when we receive this uh, pitch value and we put it into the uh, the clone on another connected machine the the issue is we're not actually changing the pitch of the camera we're not changing the transform of the camera um, now this is the problem about organizing how your code gets set up but the bottom line is this uh, this pitch value after we take input inside of look this pitch value um, does get changed and this pitch value does these two lines uh, where it uh, creates a Euler rotation for the pitch and then sets the camera transforms local rotation to that rotation and we need to do these both both of these lines if we want the pitch to change on the clone machine because remember um, we're only doing look if we're the local machine so the easiest uh, method um, and only one of the methods is not awesome code um, but if we just copy these two lines so um, on mine it's 69 and 70 but um, it's the it's where we take the quaternion take the rotation um, create the rotation value sorry from the pitch that we've received and then we set the ro the rotation of the camera based on that. So those two lines, we're just going to put them in here straight after we receive the data from the uh, from the network. So in theory, all the clones now will uh, take will find that pitch value, um, and they will set their camera rotation to the pitch value. Um, if you're the local machine, obviously you're going to be writing that pitch value to it. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm going to pause the, the uh, recording again. I'm just going to show it. So uh, after building it, I found a, a bit of a bug. Uh, things still worked, kind of, uh, but there was a, a, a debug message coming up. Um, I tracked it down and uh, I have a way to fix it uh, so if you stick with me and we'll we'll get through this and um, the the issue was that it was kind of a timing issue in that we we in start we get the camera transform and um, but unfortunately because uh, the camera is sometimes is disabled it can't find the camera by its camera component 
um, on the clone which is a really complicated and long-winded thing the the simple solution however is um, is we just get rid of a uh, get rid of this line um, and we're going to make the pub the camera transform public so uh, rather than make it the just a, a private one and we find it on start we're just going to make this public and we'll fix this inside of the uh, prefab so that's saved so I've got rid of the line that tries to find the camera transform from the camera component because clearly we can't when we don't have a camera component because uh, it's been switched off because it's a clone um, so we go back to oops stop playing uh, go back to the prefab so um, the player prefab and uh, you'll see right now on the player we have this first person controller and we made the camera transform public so all we need to do now is just drag the main camera onto that and that will be fine and um, everything else <laughs> should work. I'm just going to test it again so I'll stop recording and test it and make sure that it works. So uh, thankfully um, it did work um, as you can see so there's no um, debug errors and now the pitch is um, synchronized across the network so that pitch value is not, it's just the value is synchronized across the network but we're also dealing with the, the other issues of um, moving the transform um, and actually getting the transform because it was found in a different way. So hopefully you're still enjoying the series and uh, thanks for sticking with me. In the next one we're going to be looking at, um, we can currently hit this player and fortunately we can't do anything uh, about that because um, the, the health hasn't been synchronized uh, or created across the network. So we'll be doing a health script on the next one and uh, respawning this, um, this player. So uh, stick with it and I'll see you soon.